You see that right there? That's that activated carbon, baby. Straight out the bat, I apologize. I've been giving you the wrong information for years now. And I feel like a stone cold piece of crap. Like, you know, the piece of doodles that are in the museum that is all uh, petrified and everything. This heart, that's, that's me. I'm sorry. I got to come clean on activated carbon. I got caught up in the hoopla. I got caught up in the YouTube hoopla of talking crap about activated carbon on how bad it is. The, the truth of it is that I think a lot of people, and I was one of them, I, was, I thought that I was a better fish keeper than the next guy because I didn't use activated carbon. Like I'm better than somebody else because I'm, you know, my, my skills is all that. I don't need activated carbon, that's cheating. I was wrong. I was dead wrong. In fact, in doing research for this uh, little nano um, saltwater aquarium I have up here, I've, I asked around, I talked to my local LFS guys, and I found out that everybody uses activated carbon when it comes to like reef tanks and saltwater tanks. And so I, I, and I feel like these people that use um, do reef tanks and stuff. They're serious about their water quality. More serious about their water quality than freshwater people by far. So I had to give activated carbon a second look. I went back to the beginning. I went back to basics on thinking about activated carbon, what it does, how it does it, and whether or not it's a benefit for the aquarium. And this is what I came up with. First of all, let's talk about what activated carbon does. Activated carbon, some people want to call it a chemical chemical filtration. I don't, I, I see what they call it a chemical filtration in that it's a mechanical filtration that takes out stuff out of your water at a microscopic level. So I think because it's so small, and it will remove chemicals from the water. It's considered a chemical filtration, but really all it is, it's, you know that lava rock that's got holes all up in it? Imagine that itty bitty teeny weeny 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 itty bitty itty. That's what activated carbon is. It's a, it's got a lot of teeny weeny microscopic holes that trap particles. What is the best type of activated carbon? Well, being as activated, activated carbon has to be bought, the best type is the cheapest type. <laughs> And there's a lot of different activated carbon manufacturers out there that make this stuff. And unless I had a microscope and I watched every one of them or I did the test where I can put different brands and with with a uh, 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 stuff in the water and test to see if the other stuff on the other side is cleaner than another. I can't say. So what I will say is that being that it's something that you have to buy um then cheaper is always better if, if it's cheaper you'll change it more often type of thing and that's that's where i am at with which brand is better in my opinion a lot of um local fish stores will have activated carbon bulk where you can buy it by the pound uh, that's that's the way to go you get yourself a reusable bag that's the way to go a lot of people want to know how to use activated carbon so Let's start out with when you buy it for the first time um, or when you're buying your your um, hang on the back or your canister filter because that's where you're normally going to find activated carbon um, all, that come already with the, the filtration. It's going to go after your sponges and before your biological filtration. So if you had an aquarium and their filter setup was sponge. It had three spaces. Your sponge would be here, your active carbon would be in the middle and your biological would be at the end. Um, if you have like a canister filter where you have a whole bunch of different um, compartments where you could s specialize in, and stuff like that, I would put this after your sponges after the initial mechanical filtration, because at the end of the day, that's what this is. This is a mechanical filtration. So as your sponge takes out particles, 
you'll have you know your filter floss or whatever will take out fine particles your sponge will take out more particles and then this type will take out even more particles so you're not putting a whole bunch of dirt particles in your biological filtration you don't want to rinse this off when you get brand new carbon or do you get the carbon with your fil filter your hang on the back of your canister you want to rinse this off that you you want to rinse this off in water that's already been pre-treated with um uh chlorine remover if it's a brand new tank you can go ahead and rinse it off with sink water, put it in your tank, fill your tank up, put the chlorine remover in there, and then that was fine. You just want to make sure there is no chlorine water going in your tank, whether it be on this or anything else, um, with fish in it. So the only thing that's going to happen if you don't, I'm going to be honest with you, the only thing that's going to happen if you don't rinse this off is you're going to have some black dust in your order it's not going to be like a cloud maybe if you got the, the the stuff you got by the pound it might be that much because that stuff gets moved around a lot but it's not going to be that like this would not be that much black dust that i would cry over but if it's something that you're worried about you can rinse it off let it sit for 24 hours and then you can put it in there if you use the factor factor i'm sick uh, y'all so you're gonna have to bear with me if you use the factory recommended amount of activated carbon it's just right if you use a little bit more you're all right if you use a little bit less you're all right if you have a all right let me let me figure out the best way to put this um there are consequences like with ph swings um I think there's, I've never seen it happen myself, but apparently there are pH swings up or down um, that come with using too much activated carbon. But I really do believe that's using an outrageously excess of activated carbon. Like, so if your canister filter holds this much and you decide you want to put three times as much, yeah, you might have an issue. But if you, your canister filter is designed to only hold this much carbon and you put like this much, I don't think really it's a big deal. It's, it's just, whenever you do anything in excess, do you have an issue? I don't, I don't know. That's something you would have to ask some, someone who's really, really good on um, water chemistry. Not just any fish keeper. You need to talk to somebody, if they're a fish keeper that's really good on water chemistry, then fine. But, I think for activated carbon to change your pH, you would have to use a lot of it. Normally, people change this once a month. All right. Um, I did see a video on how to reactivate your know, recharge or clean and reuse activated carbon and Whenever I do a video where I'm talking about somebody else's, I, I normally put the link in the description below and I'm not gonna do that. And the reason why I'm not gonna do that is because I don't agree with it. I don't believe 100% that what he's saying or what he's preaching is something that I would tell you guys. I watched his process. First of all, it's, it's a very long, lengthy, lengthy process. And I don't think activated carbon costs so much that you would have to do all this. And at the end of the day, you, uh, you're you not sure. There's no way to be sure unless you did all the tests that I told you in the beginning of this video over which carbon is better or worse. Um, you have to take put a microscope, you have to do tests and all that. And unless you do that stuff, there's no way to tell that you're not just putting dirt back in your aquarium. So I don't suggest you try and, and do this method. Uh, if, if you do, if you're curious about it, all you have to do is look up um, how to reuse activated carbon for your aquarium or some combination of words like that and you'll find it but i'm not i'm not sold on it so i'm not gonna suggest it hey y'all listen i don't feel good i hope you realize that my energy level isn't what it normally is but i'm trying so if you are inclined to hit the like button i would really appreciate it if this is your first time watching 
please consider hitting the subscribe button so that you can get more content. Oh, you have to hit the notification bell too. So you can get notified whenever I put out more content. I do have a um, members only where I will talk more. All the stuff that doesn't really go well over on YouTube, the more geeky stuff, the more personal stuff, stuff that people don't really, um, YouTube videos really don't resonate, I put in there. So it's a lot of good, 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 inside stuff that um is really only for members only so um consider becoming a member and uh i thank you in advance God, i feel like crap i thank you in advance is activated carbon good for plants well <clears throat> it's not i would say no um especially if you're well okay if you just have just you know plants in your aquarium I'm, I'm gonna say it's not gonna be that much of a problem if if you're really really trying to push plant growth you you might be putting stuff adding fertilizers or stuff in the water or maybe overfeeding a little bit to um you know help give the plant some nutrition in that case yeah activated carbon excuse me excuse me uh in that case activated carbon um wouldn't would, would probably be anti-productive because it'd be removing stuff that you want the plants to get to so um while it's not super bad it's anti-productive so there you go does activated carbon remove ammonia no it does not remove ammonia what it will do is it will if you have an ammonia spike where you got that milky milky water it will remove that milky water but the ammonia the poison is still in the water so don't be fooled if you see a fish up there um if you have poor feeding habits um activated carbon is not the cure-all so do not overfeed your tank will activated carbon remove phosphates and this goes along with uh another question that people ask on a regular ugh. This goes along with another question people have um, in in does activated carbon remove algae? And when they ask that question, mainly they're talking about algae in the water column. You know, you have algae that grow on your surfaces, and you sometimes you just have green water. That's algae cells growing in, and it will clear that out, but it will always be there. Like it will. It will catch it, but the algae will grow faster than the carbon could catch it. So, and it'll just clog up your carbon because they grow so much. It will clog up your carbon to the point where it's no longer effective. So, no, it will not clear up algae in my opinion. It will pull out some phosphates from the water, but not as much phosphates as you're intending it to if you have that much algae. So, um that is a light problem and an overfeeding problem in my opinion activated carbon is a great uh water clarifier um but it's not the cure-all to clean out your water you know what i'm saying this it, just because you have it in your tank doesn't mean you're done all right the stuff you do and don't have to, and have to not do to get your water quality where you want it Activated carbon is a double-edged sword when it comes to medication. If you need to medicate your tank, whether it has ick or some type of fungus that you're putting medication in your aquarium, you have to remove the um, activated carbon because it will cl clear it will clean out the molecules of medication. That's how porous and small it is. It, it'll clean that stuff out to where it's not effective. You're, you're taking it right out of the water column by keeping the activated carbon in. So whenever you um, medicate your tank, you want to remove the activated carbon. When you're done medicating your tank, I would suggest do water changes to remove a lot of that medication. But let's be real, unless you move remove all the water, you can't be sure. So activated carbon putting back in your tank would be a good way to remove the rest of that chemical um, that you put in there. So activated carbon will remove medication. So there you go this is what i wondered since i learned about activated because i call it charcoal all right that's just me I, hey you got that charcoal for the tank and people want to know well is 
activated carbon charcoal. Why can't I just put charcoal in there? It, you can. It's the same. It's activated carbon is charcoal. All right, look, y'all. I'm in the middle of editing this thing, and I got it. Don't don't put don't go to the store and buy yourself some Kings Kingstown whatever the heck. That stuff got chemicals in it. It's got chemicals to help stuff lighter. I, I was saying all natural charcoal. Don't don't go get yourself some barbecue charcoal and put it in your tank and then all your fish die and you're gonna say aquafunk to kill my fish. Don't do it. I was I had to put this in here. Because I know somebody was going to do it. Activated carbon is charcoal with a twist. You have charcoal, which is burnt wood, right? Then you have activated carbon, which is man-made. You can't find activated carbon in nature. Activated carbon is man-made. They got these all these geeky scientist type dudes, and they burn a specific type of material, leaving a type of charcoal. Now, they take that charcoal, they take it an extra step by making it even smaller, making the holes, the pores, in the even smaller. So while, yeah, it is charcoal, it's going through an extra process to be, to have the pores way smaller. So in theory, I mean, let's be real, there's the, the water filtered through charcoal will clean it. Um, it doesn't work as well. I'm sure it's probably a way more dustier than activated. But yeah, it's basically the same thing. Don't let people talk down to you for using activated carbon. I was one of them people that was like, Ugh, you use, act uh, you use activated carbon? You don't need that. It's junk. It's trash. Get rid of it. Don't, don't listen to other people. Don't, listen. don't even listen to me. I don't even listen to me. I'm not even going to watch this video when I'm done.